back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We are going to be doing my post Disney haul. So let's get started. So yes, today we're going to be doing a post trip haul and I'm going to also include some footage from the trip because I don't really have a lot to show. To be completely honest, I have about one in a tiny, tiny bag to show. I really don't usually buy a lot on my trips, even though I did drive down this time, so I definitely could have bought a lot. Um, but I don't tend to buy a lot because I just don't. I don't know. I just, um, I prefer shopping online <laughs> in general because I, I like to calculate prices. And anyway, that's just how my brain works. I prefer shopping online, moral of the story. But I do have a few things to show. And then after that, I'm going to try and do a little trip discussion I guess and then I'm also going to show you guys some footage that I took while on my trip so if any of that sounds of interest stay tuned and if you are not subscribed down below to see more content for me I do have a few other videos coming out to do with my trip I think that I'm going to have the pre the pre haul should already be up so I will link it and then I'm thinking that I will also put up the uh, packing video before this one too so I will also link that but I also have a what's in my bag dish, uh, Disneyland edition. So you can see kind of what I take to the parks and get some recommendations. Um, I do eventually want to do a Disneyland like centered discussion video. I don't know if that's going to be of interest to anyone. Let me know in the comments down below if that sounds like something you would want to watch. I don't know though. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I also want to do a like top 10 Disneyland things also there's a lot of ideas that i have so let me know if you guys are interested in disneyland content i know that we're very inundated with like disney world content but i feel like there's not a lot of disneyland updates maybe it's just because of the people i follow i don't know give me some good disneyland youtubers if you guys are like what are you talking about there's so much disneyland content anyway <laughs> i'm feeling very chatty this afternoon apparently so all of that being said, we are going to get into the haul. So let's get started. Scoot it a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Ooh, let me scoot in the center. There we go. Um, with that being said, we're going to start off with the stuff that isn't actually mine. It is gifts. I really like to give edible gifts when I come from the Disney parks. I just don't have a lot of people in my life that love Disney the way that I do. So my favorite thing to do is buy them treats um, from the parks. So what I bought everyone in my life and I'm only going to show one, but I did buy five for various people in my life, is the Rice Krispie Treat, of course. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it through the packaging, but I did get the chocolate dip ones because, in my opinion, those are the best ones. <laughs> but uh, I did buy that for the people that, in my life, that were not going so my family that didn't go and a few of my friends that didn't go. It's my personal thing that I like to give as like little souvenirs. When I was growing up, we always brought home gifts for people from trips. So it's something that I also like to do um, when I come home from trips. So and Disney World or Disneyland, any Disney park, I usually bring home something like treat wise. So this is the first thing that I have. The other edible treat I have is actually for a box swap. Um, and this person who I have said that they liked gummies and they didn't say anything about Rice Krispie Treats. So just to be safe, I'm not going to give them a Rice Krispie Treat. Um, I am, however, giving them this beautiful candy bucket and it's Minnie Mouse. I love this bucket. Honestly, I kind of regret not buying one for me too to put in my display. But alas, maybe they have them online. I should double check and see if they have them online. The small ones, not the big ones. This, I'm not gonna lie, was pretty pricey. I don't know, does it say the price on it? It was, it was a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. It was, it was pretty expensive for what it is, um, I will say. But it does have a to and from card, which is so sweet. I actually didn't realize that, so I'm gonna write on that for the box swap. And then, here, let me take these out a little bit. I'm not gonna take them all the way out. But they come with these, like, gummy candy, not candy canes, what are they called? candy corns in them so hopefully she enjoys that she did say gummies are her favorite candy fingers crossed i didn't actually look at what flavor they are it just says gummy candy corn hopefully they're not candy corn flavored hopefully they're just like normal gummies i don't know but i thought this bucket was just so cute and i love it and now i kind of regret not getting one for myself 
mm, you know I'm, I'm still gonna give it to her but I might have to look online and get one for myself other thing that I got um before I get into like the stuff that I bought purely for myself are these badges I whenever I go to Disneyland or Disney World I always try and pick up a few badges I like to I have a couple happy birthday ones already so I didn't buy those or not buy them I didn't get those I got the I'm celebrating um I like to give them out with like presents and that kind of stuff probably also gifts and just to add like some magic to some of the things that I send out too because I I think that's adorable and um i like to add a little extras and this so the last couple of things before i go into like the trip talk if you will um are things that i bought for myself they all fit in one bag so it's it's only two things it's not that excessive i'm gonna save my favorite thing for last um this trip i bought things that i don't typically buy and one of the things that i really really wanted was the three cabanero ears that came out for the Disney 100th, I think it's the Decades line, I want to say, one of the Disney 100th line, or maybe it's the music line, I don't know, but it features the three cabaneros. I have a three cabanero backpack, but I don't have any ears, so I really, really wanted those, but I could not find them. They were completely sold out. I managed to see some of the other lines. Um, I think I saw the, the 60s line, and maybe the 80s line. Is that what the Rescue Rangers line was? I saw a lot of Rescue Rangers stuff. I think it was um but anyway I did settle for a different pair of ears and this one was actually encouraged by my sister so I'm gonna blame her <laughs> for these ears but they are the beignet ears I actually bought these in the new Tiana themed shop they had a bunch of beignet stuff they had beignet mix they had like a bunch of Tiana themed like kitchen tools which I thought was really cool and I was like so close to grabbing some of those they had some like chiro theme stuff too i want to say but what i wanted was these ears these ears were not only there though i'm pretty sure they were like everywhere i want to say i know they were for sure not world of disney what is it called the emporium i'm pretty sure they were in the emporium but um they are super cute i don't know if you're gonna be able to see i thought that this would be printed on it but it's actually sparkles the like dust i thought or the was it called the powder um but yeah my sister said that if I bought these she would wear them she's not a huge Disney person but she does love Mickey Minnie's or she used to she's gluten-free now <laughs> so sorry but she did wear them and then I took them home um I did pay for them um but I took them home because she is not a huge Disney person and I am and then on the back it does say beignet all day I'm not a huge fan of that but I wish they were just plain but you know what Beggars can't be twosers. It has this beautiful sparkly bow too. Love them. Here are they here, here are they on. Here's them on. Oh, they also are scented, by the way. They smell like beignets. They really smell like popcorn to me, to be honest. They don't smell like beignets. I think they're cute. Yeah, so I was really excited. We did buy some Mickey beignets while we were there, I will say. Moving on to the last item that we have. This was the one that I went in wanting this item. I've wanted this item for a while and they sold out initially when this item was released and it's since come back and I'm really excited it's come back. I do believe it's available in Disney World as well. It's my very, very first popcorn bucket. Yes, <laughs> I am not a huge popcorn bucket collector. Obviously this is my first one, um, but there is like no Mr. Toad merch and I love Mr. Toad. Um, I like the ride and I also like the movie. I do watch it every year around Halloween cause it is connected to Ichabod Crane, which I always watch and I always end up watching him as well. But I had to get this um, beautiful, beautiful popcorn bucket. When I originally was getting it, I didn't realize Mr. Toad was actually in it until I I bought it and like looked at it and was like, oh my god, Mr. Toad's in it. Um, but yes, I did carry this around all day long in Disneyland, but I did get it and I love it. His wheels actually spin as a side note. Let me get you a full panorama. That's where the popcorn's supposed to go. I have not been able to get it open though. Um and I, I just stopped trying because I didn't want to break it or anything. But yeah, I took a picture of this in front of Mr. Toad as well. It's just so detailed and I love it. I don't know if I'm going to get any other popcorn buckets. 
I know they have some really really cute ones in Tokyo Japan but this is the only one that's ever caught my eye and I absolutely love it it does also have this Mr. Toad like lanyard type thing with the Disney 100 that's upside down can I get you a I'm gonna get you a shot of it not upside down <laughs> there we go which I just think is so adorable I love it I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this I think it's gonna be a display piece it's actually gonna go on this shelf over here um but I just think it's so lovely and I love it <laughs> so yeah that was everything that I bought on my Disneyland trip um I am not gonna do like a full recap of all of the stuff we did but I did want to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that stood out to me and again I will also roll the footage of um some of the clips that I took while I was there um, the first thing that stood out to me the most is we did Genie Plus, and I was not a huge fan of Genie Plus, mostly because I felt like, you know, why is Disney making us pay for something that they previously gave us for free? I still feel that way, but I do think that is worth it if you are, if it is within your budget and you have a smaller group. Um, I don't know how it would be with a larger group, if it would be harder to make selections. It was just the three of us so it was really really easy almost every single time I was able to get um, a lightning lane that I wanted the rides were constantly going down constantly and we did get a lot of the like any ride passes um, that they give out if a ride goes down I think it was because of the heat we went during a heat wave um, so it was like pretty much 90 degrees over 90 degrees every single day we were there so it was really really hot and so a lot of the rides were going down um but I will say I was not a believer and now I really like Genie Plus I actually think it's worth it because I had also heard some horror stories and I don't know if this is true in Disney World that it was really hard to get lightning lanes and people were getting like two lightning lanes a day which to me it's not worth it for like two lightning lanes but pretty much every single ride we went on um or well we went on every single ride that was available with Genie Plus um, and almost every single ride we went on, we waited under 30 minutes. Um, there was only like two rides we waited 30 minutes and that was Radiator Springs Racers. And <laughs> as weird as it sounds, uh, the storyboat ride in Fantasyland in Disneyland, um, it was said it was a 10 minute wait, but it was a 30 minute wait. Um, so those are the only two rides that we waited more than, you know, 30 minutes. Even Rise of the Resistance, I think we were only in line for like 20 minutes. So it really was not that bad at all. I do recommend it. Um, the second thing <laughs> that like stood out to me that I wanted to share is they actually now have a projection show in the Rivers of America um, near Pirates of the Caribbean in New Orleans Square, that little riverboat circle thing. Um, they now have like, I think it's because Phantasmic's not around, so if you're watching this after Phantasmic comes back, they probably don't do this anymore. Um, this was during Wondrous too, so like, take this advice at your own risk. Um, but um, they do like a projection show on water, kind of like World of Color, um, but it's like the castle projections on water and then you can see the fireworks. And it's so much less crowded as someone with crowd anxiety <laughs> um I don't mind like walking through crowds but like standing in a crowd I can't do so I don't really ever watch the fireworks but being there there was no one around I literally could like put my arms out and not touch anyone there were there were people in front of me but the way that it was like sloped didn't block my view at all it was amazing um, I'll probably have some footage in my vlog of that. So if you are heading to Disneyland, I would highly recommend asking a cast member if that's still a thing. And if it is, I would do it because I, it made the like fireworks watching experience 10 times better and I would highly, highly recommend it. The last thing that uh, we did that I don't know if I really recommend, it was okay I don't know that it was worth it for the price point we did the world of color dining package where you basically go to one of the specific restaurants that they list I don't know them off the top of my head we went to the one in California Adventure not California Adventure the Grand Californian um it was pretty pricey I my sister treated <laughs> for that meal so she was she was the one that wanted to do it um and I don't know if I would do it again. The seating that we were in was not 
fantastic. If we were to do it again, I would get there when it opens up and get really good seats because we still had like a wall pretty much. It was not a wall, it was like a lamp post blocking our view. So it wasn't the greatest view in my personal opinion. Um, but it was better than if we had been like showing up at that time somewhere else. But I personally would have just probably done the not lightning lane, what is it called? The virtual queue for it and shown up early and saved some money. But that's just my personal opinion. That is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I can't think of anything else. Um, I didn't really go on any new rides, uh, except for Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. I have been on it on Disney World, but I haven't been to the Disneyland version. And oh my god, guys, the queue is amazing in Disneyland. It's so much better than the queue in Disney World. The queue in Disney World is so boring. It's also mostly all indoors. I'm assuming that it, it might have to extend outdoors, but they built it so that it could be indoors. So it was all indoors pretty much. Um, well, I mean, it was all indoors for me because we, we went after it shut down and reopened <laughs> every single time we went on it. We went on it twice and it shut down and then we went on it right when it reopened. And so we were like the first ones on there. Um, but the queue is awesome. I highly recommend that one. Um, just like all of the details, just look around when you're in the queue. I took some pictures of it. Um, I might do a like short on it if I feel like it. So if I have, it will link it up somewhere. With that being said, I think I'm just gonna roll into the vlog footage. <laughs> being said I hope you enjoyed the video and if you are new um, please subscribe down below for more magic from me leave a comment um, about your most recent Disneyland trip and give it a thumbs up if you liked the video <laughs> with that being said thank you guys so much for watching again <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day